back to our channel is your girl Tama stitches so today I want to show us how to draft a pattern for shoulder princess that and my pattern paper is here my rulers my marker tape measure I have drafted the pattern a basic bodice pattern here so I'm just going to run it again so that you see. So I have my shoulder here. The measurement you'll be needing are uh, your shoulder, your bust, your bust point, your under bust point, your half length, the waist measurement, and the bust measurement. So here I have my shoulder. The shoulder I'm using here is eight and a half. I hope you can see well. So I've already drafted that already. Bring it down to the armhole of nine inches. I'll be removing one inch for slant. So I'll mark my the boss point I'm using is what is to do. I don't know if you can see this. Ten and a half. They have finished. They have finished it. Ten and a half. Under bust is fourteen inches. Then the half length is seventeen plus one inch joining allowance. So that the straight lines we we'll have here, we we'll have the bust point. We we'll have the under bust. Then we we'll have the waist line. On my on my shoulder, I've marked my my. Uh, I've removed the joining uh, the slant of one inch, and I've slanted it out already. If you can see here, sorry, my marker is not working. Oh God. Okay, so now let's start drafting the the bustier first. The distance, the boss point I'm using here is four inches plus half inch allowance. So I'll be marking four and a half all the way down. That's this line. That's this line. So I'll come to the waistline. I'll be marking two and a half inches for that. So I mark two inch on this side and the other side I mark half inch. Sorry, my marker is not working today. I don't know if you can see what I'm marking here. I'll come to under bust. I'll mark the same two inches and then half inch on this other side. And now join it together with my curve ruler to join from the under bust to the bust point. But I left quarter inch before the bust point side so to have more room for the bust. Then mark the same thing down, the half inch I marked, joined it to quarter inch to the bust point. So that's that for the way that's the waistline that see it here. I've removed it already. You can see how curved it looks. So now I'm gonna be uh, uh, marking the shoulder that. So I get the midpoint of my shoulder. The midpoint of the shoulder here is two three quarter. So in between, I'll not insert that here now. So I'll mark. I'll mark uh, one inch of that on this side, and I mark one inch on the on the other side. And I'll join it straight to the boss point. Sorry about this. So I'm joining the one inch now to the boss point. That's what I have here. Forget about this line. So here is the center. So this is what I have. Now on the normal normal uh, armhole, I'll come in by half inch. 
now this is where the half inch is so i will leave it ignore this uh, line i made here i will leave it here now i have taken two inches from this shoulder i have to replace it back so from where my shoulder stops i'm going to be adding two inches this will be our new shoulder line so i extend the line so this is where our new shoulder line is now there's a dart here which i'll be replacing here it's about one inch here so i'll come to this same point here and add that one inch that so i have the new armhole now that's in the midpoint of the armhole that's why i are doing this for the shoulder that so here is our new armhole So ignore this. This is our new armhole here now. Now this was the first one I did, but because I have taken one inch from this shoulder now, I have to replace it back. If not, the armhole will not sit in well. So that's what I did here. That gave me this new armhole I had here now. So this is the armhole we are using. Now let me put my marks. The bust I'm using is ten and a half. That's both divided by four. Give me ten and a half, which is here. Now, whatever that I've taken here, I have to replace it back. I'll mark it. Then I'll add my two and a half inch sewing allowance. That's what gave me this here. I come to the waistline also. Mark my waistline, divide by four. Then whatever that I took from here, which is two and a half, I'll mark it here. And I'll see put my sewing allowance of two inches. So that's what gave me this mark here. Now for the neckline I'll be using here. I've marked three inches here already. But I'll be extending it to four inches. So I'm marking it four inches by four inches by four inches four by four is what I'm using as a neckline sorry I'm using barrel today so let me join my neckline Here is our new neckline. We ignore this old one. So here is our new neckline. Here is our new armhole. And here is the body. So I always like to cut the front and the back together. So what I'm going to do now is to just make a straight line here to demarcate the front from the back. But aside from the marketing the front and the back, is the same uh, shoulder line here. This is our chest line. Here is our bust point. The same line extending down. Then under bust and waist line. So first thing first is to insert our zip allowance. So I'll be using two inch of zip allowance. I'll mark that all the way down. Here is our zip, zip allowance. So still on the back uh, pattern, I've inserted our two inch zip allowance. So the shoulder I'm using now, I'm going to be, I'm not going to be, the shoulder I'm using here is eight and a half. Join it here.
The bust pan measurement I use in the front is the same thing I use there, which is four and a half. Four and a half. Let me insert the dart. The dart I'm using here is one inch here at the waistline and one inch on the other side. So I'll just join it together. To the chest line. Or to the boss point, it depends. So the neckline we used there was 4 inches and we insert the same thing here. But the neck depth we are using here it will be 2 inches. Make our curve line. And our shoulder slants. So for the back, it's just going to be normal back. So let me insert our, our busts here. With the two inch allowance. I'll make our armhole. You know in the armhole of the back, there's no coming in at all. So let's insert our normal armhole. Insert the waistline. Don't forget to add the dart that was removed and then the allowance. So here is what we have here. So now here is our back pattern. And here is our front. Pattern. The front has the shoulder, uh, shoulder dart allowance. That's what I did here for the front, but for the back, I don't do the normal dart allowance with the zip. So now we need to modify this zip area. I have to insert a little bit of uh, dart here. So from the under bust now. I have two inches so I need to go up by half inch here and from there measure my two inches and slant it a little so that the zip will not keep up when I'm done fixing it so let's see what I did here just to give that fitting in our zip. So let me cut it. Just watch the way I cut it.
this one will have as the front. I see the front. So let me cut the back. I'll be cutting it on the paper, on the cloth itself now. So I've done cutting it. You can see the boss part, how curved it looks from under boss. And but I've now decided to remove yoke from it. So you can see how the front looks. And let's look at the back. Here's the fabric I used to cut them after cutting them off. And here is the back. I also removed the yoke. You can see? Here is the back yoke. You can see? So this is where today's lecture stops. Thank you for watching till the end. Please press that subscription button to subscribe with us. You will always be notified once we upload any new video. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Merry Christmas in advance. Dharma Stitches love you.